Welcome to Karen Walton Oval here in Adelaide for match 13 of WBBL 08. It's the Adelaide Strikers looking for their first win in the competition up against a team that is absolutely flying. The Sydney Sixers having won their first three matches. And you can see Deandra Dotton there taking an off stump guard to Sophie Eccleston. Can she get away with the maiden? No, she won't. She's looking for that swing. It's catchable height, but it's through the field. First one really a straight line on the stumps, and Katie Mack times that. Gets it on leg, and Katie Mack gets into position very nicely. And then nicely gets on to the front foot. Catchable. Was it a little fingertip? It is the worst way to go out within the game. So she's going to try and get it a pitch it as full as possible. Maybe not the full toss, but the full toss will also get the wicket. Elise Perry takes the catch. And short pitch bowling wasn't uh, overly successful in the previous game, as we saw there again. The reverse comes out. Does she find space? She certainly does. Flatter, quicker, and wicket. The look away, reverse, sweep the ball before for four. There's that change up again. Straight to Sophie Eccleston. She won't drop those. Cheadle into the attack, and that is a handy breakthrough. And Maitland Brown has the ball in her hand. And make that a wicket. Four dot dot wicket to Maitland Brown in the first over the power surge as she gets through Patterson. It's nicely timed there from Tegan McFarlane. It's nicely timed. It looks like at least Perry might have just gone over the top of that one. Gets down on one knee, swivels, and with the swivel finds the boundary. A little bit fuller. Tegan McFarlane gets up and underneath it. Doesn't clear just the rope, but clears the fence as well. Goes short. Penner gets all of that. Right onto the hill. Goes length again, gets a thick outside edge. That's a productive over there for the Adelaide Strikers. Across the crease, needs to get something on it. She doesn't just get something on it, she gets a lot of it on it. Gets the full toss, has gone in that direction before. Why not go again? Well, straight Yorkers, and it's still squeezed through. Going to put pressure on the arm there of Ash Gardner. No, they're not. They're happy to take the single. And covers up nicely for the first delivery. Pace and swing. Goes after that one. It's scooped into the air straight to Dotton. She doesn't drop those. Strikers up and about. Chopped on. Two from two for the Strikers and Darcy Brown. It is all happening. Slip comes out for Bates. She goes for it, and it's a thick top edge all the way for six. Goes for the sweep, a stand-up sweep, and it's been given. Wicket's tumbling here for the strikers. They've got the three big ones. The skipper comes into the attack and takes one first ball. It is all going the way of the strikers at the moment. Looks to go across the crease and does it well, does Aaron Burns. Sharply driven by Nicole Bolton. She runs about halfway down the pitch until she realises there is no need. That's gone big. It's skied, it's straight, and it is long enough from Burns. That's the wrong and it's in the air and it's taken. Smart bowling there from Wellington. The sweep has worked. <laughs> Change up has worked perfectly. Oh, chance of a court and bold. Instead, though, Erin Burns goes to her second 50 in three innings of the WBBL. Well, it's not gone over mid-off. It's gone over Wellington. Field her off. Oh, clean. So clean from Burns. Slow, complete pace off. She hasn't got all of this one, and that is taken. And is it out? McFarlane goes up. Doesn't matter. A miss and a magical win for the Adelaide Strikers. They get their name on the board in terms of points. They've got a win over the team, over the Sixers.